Success intelligence, I think, really starts with the willingness just to be able to talk about success. Uh, in my experience, we don't do it very often. People are shy about it. Uh, they assume that there are connotations about success, boastfulness, that type of thing, means we shouldn't, shouldn't talk about success. Uh, when we are successful, you know, often we're working in companies wh which are what I would call a survival culture rather than a success culture. In a survival culture, you are there to be busy and to do a lot, uh, but not to be successful. In some cultures, success uh, would be considered almost blasphemy, you know, to be too successful. And yet, so therefore we don't talk about success. You know, we ask each other how we are, and you know, people are being successful every day of their lives, but they're not saying it. How are you? We just say not so bad. Not too bad, not bad. Three basic options for getting through your life. How are you? Oh, can't complain. Yeah. Mustn't grumble. Could be better. Could be worse. Hanging by a thread. <laughs> Soldiering on. Keeping my head above the water. Surviving. Nothing is being communicated. We could be taking leadership positions in those moments, but instead, we are just, it's a non-committal place. We're not being successful. We're not failing. We're just in this non-committed place. Success intelligence starts then, I think, with also being able just to ask, well, what is success? Let's keep that question alive for the whole of our life. Let's have moments in our day where we can reflect on what it truly means to be successful. So that we don't always have to have awful wake-up calls to begin a conversation that should actually never have stopped. What does it mean to be truly successful? We work hard at success often without working out what success really is. And success can be so full of constants and variables. Have you come across the uh, bell-shaped curve and the theory of success? Bear with me for a moment. Let me tell you about this one. According to the bell-shaped curve, at age three, success is not peeing in your pants. Okay? At age 12, success is having friends. At age 16, success is having a driver's license. At age 20, success is having sex. At age 35, success is having money. At age 50, success is having money. At age 60, success is having sex. <laughs> At age 70, Success is having a driver's license. <laughs> at age 75, success is having friends. And lastly, yeah, you're there, aren't you? <laughs> at age 80, all of a sudden, success is not peeing in your pants again. 